e wi am la manak ilo an marang chamala are we chugu chugu ma manak yo na len kenar kajini nar chole chin chubrim chumar ranaj perwa de no ai len kenar e wi am la manak Scientists say we have until 2030 before it floods, because we're only two meters above water. That two meters is cultures, two meters of language, two meters of legends, myths. There's a seawall made of cars. It's actually sad looking. From the climate change perspective, what we're looking at in the Pacific, and specifically in the Marshall Islands, is that we will have more droughts that last longer. They might happen more frequently. Storms are going to get more intense. With a couple even centimeters of sea level rise, you'll start to see additional impacts from something like a naturally occurring king tide. Most often, the king tides come up and flood down here, and then it can destroy the graves. What we're trying to understand better here, not only IOM, but the community in general, is what is happening with people's decision making around migration, because there are concerns that people might migrate due to climate change or environmental um, disasters. The recent natural disasters that we've experienced is drought, mainly drought, because the frequency of drought uh, we've experienced was first 2013, and then back to back 2014, 2015, 2016. And mostly the atolls that were affected were um, the islands in the north. Their food crops went down. Their water sources were at high salinity rate, which is undrinkable. Even the water wells, even their water catchment, they were depleted. One of the projects that we've introduced back, back at the time was the CADRE program, which stands for Climate Adaptation Disaster Risk Reduction Education Program, in short, CADRE. So this program, we wanted to be enrolled at the schools with the understanding that the students themselves will go back to their parents, not just their parents, but the community around their places to talk about climate change adaptation. We're also working with communities and schools on disaster risk reduction and disaster preparedness. In the cadre workshop, they share lots of information about climate change. Uh, they also share some materials that the teachers can uh, use in the classroom. The student responds to the lesson, well, they're quite excited. Our students become more aware about climate change and what are the things that they really need to focus on, especially uh, about coastal erosion, how important planting is, how to prepare themselves when uh, there's a king tides or there's a drought that is uh, experiencing around the island. We have developed a youth leadership camp, and that camp really focused on leadership skills. It had education on climate change, and it provided the young participants who are working in it the opportunity to create programs and come up with solutions. So in this camp, we teach youth about leadership skills, communicating skills, and what they can do to of course, um, spread awareness about climate change. My group, in the first year, we did elevate, not migrate. It was just to propose the idea of dredging and raising up the land. It is the most challenging thing this country has had to face, because if they decide to elevate, it will be impossible to elevate every single island. And it's a place-based culture where your connection to your land is who you are. The Kajari program was an eye-opener for me. 
I first thought that the message would not go at the community level, from the students to their parents to the community. My cousin's daughter came up to me, hey, did you know that we're talking about climate change? What are you doing to prepare yourself? So that kind of made me really proud. We also want to stay here, but if the effect of climate change will still continue, then we might end up leaving the island. Youth is really important because we make up more than 50% of the Marshall Islands population. We want, we want our voices to be heard and taken seriously. There's a Marshallese saying actually. It was, it was coined by um, late Minister Tony Dubrow. He said, the ocean is made up of drops. You take care of your drop and I take care of mine we can take care of the world. I'm a little drop and now I really matter. My voice matters.